Hello everyone, I'm Morgan and today I am going to overview the Data Accelerator tool. Traditionally, loading or updating bulk data in M3 with the Smart Data tool is a time-consuming activity. It requires the attention of data stewards and slash or IT specialists for even the smallest data loading tasks. If we were to deploy Cloud Suite for the first time and needed data from your old system into the new Infor system, you would experience all of these issues. Before, each data file would need to be uploaded to M3 in an individual request. Each request would then be individually accepted or rejected. Fortunately, here at Dopio Group, we have developed a data accelerator tool to eliminate the common issues many face with traditional data loading. Using this tool, loading or updating bulk data can be accomplished almost completely within M3. Now, if data needs to be transferred from an old system to the new Infor system, it can all be done within one request. Updating existing data will also be more efficient and user-friendly. The Data Accelerator tool is an H5 script developed by Dopio Group to quicken the process of updating M3 data. This script allows us to easily load data using M3 APIs from CSV files to overall enhance data management business processes. Configuration and deployment of the Data Accelerator tool can be done in minutes. The Data Accelerator tool can be used by both the Data Steward and the individual business process owner. The Data Steward will be responsible for large amounts of data within their organization, as well as the data governance process. For them, this tool is a great way to handle bulk data and bulk data loading. The business process owner will be responsible for managing an end-to-end -end business process. The Data Accelerator tool gives them the opportunity to manage the data for that business process as well. Dopio Group has developed the Data Accelerator tool to run in both open and target modes. For the data stewards and IT specialists, we have the open mode. In open mode, a user has access to all M3 APIs. For this reason, open mode is best suited for the master data stewards and IT support. In open mode, you can quickly change any large amounts of data in response to changing business requirements. The target mode will be used by the business process owners. This mode is used to update data in a more controlled way. In this mode, the script is deployed for key users to be able to update specific data that they work with. This allows the business process owners to take ownership of their data, which will also reduce the amount of requests for IT and data support. Now I am going to walk through how to use this script starting in open mode. In M3, we will start by viewing the information in our item warehouse. We can see that this group of items, from hold coffee beans down to paper box, is connected to this buyer. However, in our example, that user is no longer the buyer of these items. We will walk through how we can use the Data Accelerator tool in open mode to update those items to a different buyer. We are going to start by changing the desired information in Excel. I have downloaded a report from M3, which uses the buyer field that we are going to change. Notice that the column headers for warehouse, item number, name, and buyer are API field names. Now, I am going to update the information I want changed in this document. The file will be saved in CSV format. We can return to M3 and locate the program we want to use. We will right click, select related and transactions. This brings us to a new program. We can select the transaction we want. In this case, we will scroll down to update item warehouse. Once that is selected, we can click the load data button. When the window pops up, prompting us to choose a file, there is also an option for download template. This template provides us with all the fields and their respective APIs. If needed, we could use this file to change the desired information, as we did in this Excel. Back in M3, we are going to choose the CSV file with the updated buyer information. Select Open and OK. A message will appear asking if we are ready to load. Select OK. 
Another message will appear indicating how many of the rows loaded successfully. We can click OK again. To see our updated buyer information, we are going to go back to the item warehouse and refresh the page. You can see that those same items have been updated to our new buyer. Next, we will walk through target mode and see how it is used to target specific data. Staying in our item warehouse, we have added the Data Accelerator tool as a shortcut. If we open our shortcut bar, listed under Data Accelerator, is a shortcut entitled Update Buyer. By adding the script as a shortcut, we can easily update our buyer right from this page. In this case, we want to switch our buyer back to the original user. I have updated the CSV file to reflect the original information. In M3, click the Update Buyer shortcut, select that CSV file, and from here we will follow the same process as we did before. You can see that seven rows loaded successfully. When we refresh the page, we can see that the buyer has already been updated right from this program. Using the target mode narrows the information that is being changed in M3 and eliminates the room for error. Target mode of the data acceleration tool allows you to put the power of the data into the line business user's hands rather than requiring IT for many of these data needs. To talk about how you can use the data accelerator tool in your organization, please reach out to us at the email in the description below. Thank you for your time.